Hi, I'm Adam Burton, and this is The Daily Devo. Today is Monday, November 29, 2021. This week's Bible memory passage is Philippians chapter 2, verses 10 through 11. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Philippians chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. Here's what happened on this day in history. In 1777, the city of San Jose is founded. The first city to be settled in California, San Jose, was founded as San Jose de Guadalupe. Before the Spanish settled in the city, the area was inhabited by the Ahlone people. San Jose was the first capital of the state of California, which was established in 1850. In 1899, FC Barcelona is founded. The popular football or soccer club was founded by footballer Hans Gamper, informally known as Barca. The f- club is thought to be one of the top five richest football clubs in the world. The club has won four European Cups and is a five-time Champions League winner. In 1929, the first flight soars over the South Pole. American explorer Richard Byrd became the first person to fly over the South Pole. The flight took just over 18 hours. Three years ago, Byrd flew over the North Pole, though there is some debate whether he actually accomplished the feat. In 1951, there is a silent coup in Thailand. The Thai military took over the country's governance and reinstated the 1932 Constitution. And in 1972, Atari releases Pong, one of the very first arcade games to hit the market. Pong was a one or two player video game, similar to tennis, where the goal is to use a paddle to hit a ball. Around 35,000 Pong consoles were sold around the world. And now you know what happened on this day in history. Meditate today on Proverbs 29. He who is often reproved, yet stiffens his neck, will suddenly be broken beyond healing. When the righteous increase, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, the people groan. He who loves wisdom makes his father glad, but a companion of prostitutes squanders his wealth. By justice, a king builds up the land, but he who exacts gifts tears it down. A man who flatters his neighbor spreads a net for his feet. An evil man is ensnared in his transgression, but a righteous man sings and rejoices. A righteous man knows the rights of the poor, A wicked man does not understand such knowledge. Scoffers set a city aflame, but the wise turn away wrath. If a wise man has an argument with a fool, the fool only rages and laughs, and there is no quiet. Bloodthirsty men hate one who is blameless and seek the light of the upright. A fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. If a ruler listens to falsehood, All his officials will be wicked. The poor man and the oppressor meet together. The Lord gives light to the eyes of both. If a king faithfully judges the poor, his throne will be established forever. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself brings shame to his mother. When the wicked increase, transgressions increases, but the righteous will look upon their downfall. Discipline your son and he will give you rest. He will give delight to your heart. Where there is no prophetic vision, the people cast off restraint, but blessed is he who keeps the law. By mere words, a servant is not disciplined, for though he understands, he will not respond. Do you see a man who is hasty in his words? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Whoever pampers his servant from childhood will in the end find him his heir. A man of wrath stirs up strife, and one given to anger causes much transgression. One's pride will bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. The partner of a thief hates his own life. He hears the curse, but discloses nothing. The fear of man lays a snare. But whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Many seek the face of a ruler, but it is from the Lord that a man gets justice. An unjust man is an abomination to the righteous, 
but one whose way is straight is an abomination to the wicked. Thank you for listening to The Daily Devo. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you tomorrow. God bless.